This set is for new Genome Digitizer Pro users. OK, before we even open the program, I want you to right click on an empty spot on your desktop and then scroll down the pop up to Properties. When the Properties box opens, go into Settings. And on Settings, set your screen resolution for at least 1280 by 1024. No lower. Digitizer Pro does not work on a low resolution setting. You'll lose a lot of your screen. And then go for the highest color quality. Now I've got a 32-bit computer so I can only go with a 32-bit. So I tell that OK. OK, now we're going to go and open the program. And it's a big program, so it does take a little while to open, although it's a lot faster than it used to be. OK, program has opened. On the very top, you've got your Windows ribbon. And it tells you which program you've got open, and which part of your program and you're in Design Screen 1. Then you have your Alpha Toolbar. That's this one. And you've got all your drop-down menus on it. Then you've got your first Icon Toolbar. And on Digitizer Pro version 3, you've got a machine filter. And if you click the blue chevron, you will see all the machines that it supports and then below that you've got your hoop filter and it only shows the hoops for that particular machine now it's very important that you set the correct machine in the machine filter now if you've got version 2 you have to go to machine in the top alpha toolbar Come down to the bottom, select Machine Model, and pick your machine in there. And then when you go to set yourself a hoop in Setup, you'll have a huge, great big long list of hoops because there was no filter on it. My screen will probably look a little different to yours because I've moved my toolbars around. I've customized it for me. I've put my Objects Details bar over here. I've put my Custom and Layout toolbars up here, which has allowed me to move some of the tools that were on the bottom toolbar here, underneath here, up onto this toolbar. So it's given me a little more workspace on my screen because I haven't got an enormous screen. Now, talking about screens, the first thing we have to do, and I will be doing this with you, is calibrate our screens. That's why I wanted you to go and set your screen resolution up. You take a plastic ruler. Now, I work in metric. I do not work in inches. I don't think in inches, and I don't translate from metric into inches. You place your ruler on your screen, and you measure the width of the box. And I'm doing this as I'm talking to you, and mine comes up as 90. But yes, that's correct, so I have to enter 90. Then it wants the height. Right, but I make that 49 millimeters. OK. Now, instantly you can see this looks dreadful. Now, I'm going to physically measure my hoop on my screen. So I'm going to move it 
That tells me it's only 14 centimeters wide, which is exactly right, because that's 140 millimeters. Ooh, way out. So I've obviously got my box measurement wrong. It's the right width, it's the wrong height. So I go back into setup, screen calibration, and I re enter my height measurement. And this time I'm going to enter it as 50, because I'm measuring from the top of the blue box down to the bottom of the blue. And my eyesight is not dreadfully clever. And I make that 56 millimeters. So, okay. Ah, it's changed again. Wonderful. So if I measure my top half of my hoop, I should now measure exactly 10 centimeters, and it's actually measuring 10.1 cent. Sorry, 10.2 and 140 wide. I still haven't quite got that calibration right. I'm obviously not reading something properly. Ooh, let's have another try. On this time, try and get a bit closer. Fifty six was fifty six point five. I don't like entering points, but we'll try that. Okay. And we'll try again. It's still a teeny bit over the measurement. 10.1. 10 10 so I'm going to make that calibration 57. And why am I being so fussy? Because it can make all the difference in the world to your embroidery. Because you've got to see your embroidery displayed properly on the screen to give you an idea of how it's going to look when it's stitched. There we go, exactly 10. Okay. So that's my screen calibrated. Now, I'm going to have to start a new window. There we go. Now because I've started a new window it's brought this back in the way it should be in. When you calibrate it will mess your screen up a teeny bit. So you start a new one. And I'm just going to double check this and because there's nothing like checking more than once uh, it's definitely 140 wide by 10 centimeters for this bottom box. And as the whole thing is 20 centimeters, that's spot on. Right, so that's our screen calibrated. And our monitor display set up to give us correct display. Now in the next video we're going to set up a template for using and I'll explain why in the next video.